Hey guys, this is iNike from Sevensons, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, set up a system link lobby for Modern Warfare 2. Uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is just follow my directions, and uh, you should be good. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a setup similar to mine. So um, my JTAG is here, this one with the green LEDs. This is my retail console with the blue LEDs. Um, this right here is my external hard drive with 300 gigabytes on it. And this is my network bridge, which I plug in all my Ethernet cables in from the back of each console. One and two into here. So the two right there. And then this white cable goes all the way over here to my modem in the wall. Um, the modem is actually back here. Right there. And all the... Uh, all the outlets just go directly to that, which is really convenient. Okay, um, make sure that you've got an Ethernet cable um, from each Xbox um, plugged into a bridge or directly to your modem or router, um, whichever one's easy for you. Um, for me, obviously, it was this because my um, my outlet's right there. So. Um, yeah, just make sure that both of these consoles are on the same exact network. They can't be on two different networks, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, so, yeah, once you've made sure that both consoles are on exactly the same network and your setup is similar to mine, um, with the Ethernet, both the Ethernet cables going to um, a router or your um, bridge, your network bridge right there, to your modem. Um, and once you've done that, just follow the, my next directions, which will be go over to your Xbox, your JTAG, and then slide over to System Settings, uh, Network Settings, Wired Network, Configure Network, and then your IP address right there. Um, you want to save that, write it down somewhere, or memorize it. Um, and just put that in a safe spot so that you know where it is um, because we're going to be coming that back to that later in this tutorial. Once you've written that down, click B until you come to this screen again and go to Game Library. Make sure you have XCX Menu installed. If you don't, just um, watch my other tutorial. I've made a tutorial on that and you should be good to go. Play XCX menu. All right, and once you've got XCX menu up, I'm going to show you what to do on the computer. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to um, what to do on your computer after you've set up your JTAG. Make sure that your JTAG is on XCX menu, like I said. Just don't touch anything on that. Um, and then on your computer, go um, in this video. There's going to be a link in the description. Um, and it will contain this RAR file right here called latest patches just open that up um, the folder that says latest patches just drag and drop that onto your desktop <coughs> excuse me and then open up the folder run the flash fxp setup and um, these, three fo these three files do not touch them we'll come back to them in a little bit once you've um, set up the flash fxp um, or installed it um, go ahead and open it up so mine's gonna be it? right here okay and then click I accept um now um, by default it will be on this directory right here um, go to your desktop and click on the latest patches folder and then um, the reason um, you'll notice that this part up here um, you can't see it um, but it's uh, whited out that's because I am uh, I don't want you guys to see my name which is right where I'm like moving my mouse up and down um, uh, cuz yeah that's creepy anyway there's gonna be a uh, like a little lightning bolt thing that says connect up here just go ahead and click that and then there's gonna be a drop down folder or box that says quick connect history default sites click on quick connect and now, um, in your address or URL, I told you to um, 
write down that IP address. Now just go ahead and enter that here. Mine was 192.168.1.6. And your username by default is going to be Xbox and your password by default is going to be Xbox as well. Leave these two um, the way they are. Um, proxy server default, remote path is blank, and make sure the port is on 21, and then click connect. You should get um, a JTAG, like your JTAG directory here with all your folders. Um, navigate to your Modern Warfare 2 folder, where the game's installed. And then drag and drop the default underscore mp.xx into here. Um, and then drag and drop the patch underscore mp.ff in here as well. Um, all you have to do is just go like this. I'm not going to do it though because I uh, um, already have it on there, so there would be no point. Um, then go to your um, root folder and then navigate to your hard drive, click on cache, and then drag and drop the title update in there as well. And then once you've done that, um, click disconnect. And then um, you could either minimize or exit out of this program. I'm just going to minimize it because I'll probably be using it later. Um, and then that's how you do that part of the tutorial and I will show you what to do um, on the next part on my video camera alright so stay tuned